Hey, what's up, guys? This is per last this game another video on life is futile. Um, last video was kind of quick and uh, basic, so moving forward, I'll be uh, you know taking my time a little longer so you guys can walk through the steps. Uh, last video was more for advanced uh, you know advanced guys who have worked with SQL or worked with game servers, but I'm gonna be coming out with another uh, video that kind of starts at a basic level and kind of shows you all the steps required even if you didn't have SQL knowledge you can still kind of like you know get a server up and running so I may wait until the next hotfix uh, comes out which might be tomorrow or this weekend but um, you know subscribe and you know keep an eye out for that video I'm gonna go over a few other things but today I'm just gonna show you guys how to add the GM commands and get it so if you have a dedicated server you can start basically um, you know uh, you know, giving items out to your, your buddies if you need to for testing or if something got removed or stolen or, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, stuff that really helps out in testing because, you know, this is early access and I could be, you know, this, this video could be obsolete by tomorrow if they release the, the GM f uh, uh, fixes, you know, because um, there's not a lot of commands right now and I think it's because they're still kind of restructuring the, their tables and the database and how the game works. So there's a thread out here. Um, so credit to uh, Torres. He is the guy who has this post here. Check this post out. Uh, this post kind of um, shows you how to do it if you're familiar. But uh, basically, you have to go into your your SQL database and add a little bit. Um, in order for you to use all these commands. So far I'm able to do complete and add, uh, add and uh, delete and add object in front of you. Like if you want to place a school, like it says, or like a wall, you could do that. And let me show you how I do that. So first thing you're gonna do is go in your server, okay? Uh, go ahead and open the, uh, the Heidi SQL program. And what I want you to do is go ahead and connect to your database and again this is the LIF1 database. Okay, once you get that up, you're going to go ahead and go to your query but tab right here. And don't worry about all this junk right here. This is kind of what I was playing with. Um, but you do want to use this. So basically uh, what this first line is is saying select um, from these two tables and just select everything. And what I do is I, because I want to keep some of these other queries here, I highlight the one I want to run, right click on it, and say run selection. But here what this is is a selection of these two tables together. So you're going to get a duplicates. You could also do a distinct that only do a few different things. Okay. Try this again. What we get? 247 rows. I don't think I've done this yet, so let's see what happens. I actually get still 247 rows because it's just those combined actually doesn't it's not doing distinct on the actual uh, name or a certain column or something that's fine we don't care about that all I wanted to show you is that we're taking um, basically tables from this one okay there's some tables here with some players and they have ID and they have an account ID basically the uh, the IDs that I I want is this account ID now I'm not going to show you my account table because that has some Steam IDs that I'm not going to give away. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. But um, uh, when you do just run this query, select star from account, you'll see three uh, three columns and you'll see an ID is GM active, okay? And basically you want to set your ID to GM active. And you, you're like, okay, which ID? I have an ID here and I have an ID here. What we're going to do is basically, when you run this selection account, you're going to see these IDs correspond with the other IDs uh, on the account. So now that you've done that, you've done, you ran the select, right? Say this is me right here, right? For Lassus. okay? My ID is two, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and update the account table where account ID is two and set the is GM to one. Now here I did it for chill, his ID is three. And you can see here, if you run this query right here, okay, just like that, you're gonna set this is GM 
column to one and it's going to basically uh, make that person be able to use those commands and that's it uh, once you find out your account ID okay then just go ahead and run this update command so getting out of this okay so let's practice or see if this works So I'm going to go ahead and do microphone muted. Hello. It is add, and what you can basically do is I think it's quality, and it tells you actually. So do slash add type is um, I have no idea. Maybe I think it's quotes leather, right? Uh, amount one. microphone activated. And let's see quality. Quality at 99 and durability to 50, and that's it. So it's hit enter, okay. And I've already created this, but here is our item right here this cool looking thing. We got quality 99, durability 50. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm not going to show you all the commands. The commands are very basic and they're just like it has in this document here, uh, this thread. So go out to this thread, it's uh, by Torzar, and um, have fun. And look out for that video for the, uh, the next phase of Dedicated Server. Catch you guys later.